Okay, I wanted to do one more quick video on this Vivaldi Four Seasons website. Um, just to show you as well, like, like this is where we call the function and we pass in the season and the color. And I just wanted to go to the console here. And, and because we've loaded this web page here and this was, you know, main.js has run, this function here is a global function and it's accessible inside of the console. Right, so I can call set season and I could pass in whatever I wanted to, right? I could pass in winter and then whatever color I want. In this case, I'm just going to pass in, <laughs> let's go black. Okay, so when I call this function, winter and black will get stored in season name and season color and it'll use those values in the function. So let's hit enter here and see what happens. And sure enough, right, changed it to, to winter and the color in this is black. If I tried that again, but did a different color, let's go with the blue, right? So we're just, we're just calling the function, whatever values get passed into the function, get stored in these parameters, and that's what the page will get updated to. Okay, and we can do whatever we want here. I can go set season, you know, um, fall instead, and pick some sort of color, maybe orange. Oh, I need to put that in quotations and it'll try to do it right fall and the orange but of course there is no fall.jpg no fall.mp3 um, but anyway that the, the whole idea is that we can reuse this function and these values here that we pass in these are called arguments okay these values are called arguments and they get stored in the parameters which are defined in the function header Okay, that's the key concept, passing data into the function, um, storing the values in the parameters, and uh, yeah, passing the values or arguments, those values in when we call the function. All right, that's the key concept. Hope that makes sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.